Hi, Larry McDonald here with the Bear Trap Report. Valentina Sanchez in Latin America. Robert, the Dr. Van Battenberg is up in New York. Uh, you know, he's working his wisdom and, and we're going to bring him in here in a second. We're going to make this very brief, but in our next book, When Markets Speak, it's on Google. It's one of the best-selling new books coming out on Amazon right now. When Markets Speak, Google it. But we talk about a great migration of capital. Uh, and in the last five or six months, the Fed's been trying to kill inflation and you know doing a, a very aggressive job with rates. When they push up front end rates, that's bringing capital into the dollar. That dollar strength has been causing a lot of stress. And the front end rate stress that we talked about last week, early last week, we made a great call on volatility. Uh, vol picked up dramatically after our point around the banks. So what's happening is the Fed's trying to kill inflation. They are breaking the banks internally. Citibank has massive exposure to emerging markets. Bank of America has massive exposure to rates, to mortgages, and that core capital is damaged, right? So that's creating a Fed that has to break. And uh, Jose, bring up our first chat, our, our first chart. So the Fed is breaking the banks, trying to kill inflation. Uh, they're breaking emerging markets, by the way. You've got credit default swaps on all the big emerging market countries that are moving pretty violently the last 30 days. Um, okay. Okay, so the banks have been blowing up uh, violently emerging market stress. It's moving money into the dollar. It's moving money into front end rates. This is something I think that's really interesting because the dollar is at an unsustainable path because literally it's it's really causing like if if you're a truck driver in Brazil okay if you're a truck driver in Brazil the dollar's up seven percent since July and oil is up twenty five percent since July so you've got oil and the dollar crushing truck drivers in emerging market countries the the Fed is exporting inflation around the world so the question is. In the fourth quarter, if the dollar reverses, which we think it will, what are the trades? Okay, and one trade, it, I, I just think this is really a, a massive inflection point. As you can see, the bottom part of this chart, this is the, the this is the uh, the the, the um, Nasdaq 100, the NDX QQQs versus the Dow Jones Industrials, and you see that RSI there. That is a classic case where you've got a double top. You've got those two tops up the top right hand corner in the middle. But the RSI, the relative strength, is nowhere near as significant this time around. So it points to a potential, you know, colossal migration of capital, which we talk about in our next book, over the next year, back into the industrial's global value names, global value. Uh, and out of, right now, there's about $18 trillion in the NASDAQ 100, and uh, that's up from 12 and a half in December. So what's interesting, Rob, I'm going to get into to this right now with you. Rob, how is a sector like the NASDAQ 100 with staples and flames last week, utilities and flames, people are calling this a defensive sector, even though it's appreciated from, say, 12 to 12 and a half trillion in December to 18 trillion now, the NASDAQ 100. How is that defensive?